Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Family, let's talk about this girl for a minute. I want to give her a shout out. This young lady, my grandbaby. Uh, <laughs> Shikari, I I didn't um, give you your props this this year. I, like I said, I've been behind, but you remind me so much of Florence Griffin Joyner that I just had to um, make sure I get this video in about you. Congratulations for all that is happening and has happened for you this past year. Um, really, really, really appreciate your spirit and your manner in spite of the people who tried to hang you because you smoked some marijuana, right? Uh, you, you weren't on steroids. They didn't find any of those, but you smoked marijuana. And they treated you as if you had been on steroids the whole time. I didn't appreciate that. Especially knowing that your mother had just died. I mean, you could have went so many places with that. And But like I said, this world and these people in it are so judgmental that sometimes you just have to, you know, throw up both your hands and say, okay, who died made you God? But, because... You know, there was this article where somebody asked, um, it was in the Sun Times, um, has Richardson apologized for using drugs? You know, after the news that we, even when she got suspended a couple years ago um, because of the failed drug test, she apologized to her fans. And because she was banned from the Tokyo Olympics, she knew a lot of people were waiting for her to do her thing. Uh, and it, it's amazing to me. Her response was, I apologize for the fact that I didn't know how to control my emotions or deal with my emotions during that time. Who am I to tell somebody how to cope? Who am I to tell you you're wrong for hurting? I just say, don't judge me because I'm human. I'm you. I just happen to run a little faster. I really respected her for saying that. See? Because remember, I come from a town where people was trying to uh, give cards and make you have sympathy for Jeffrey Dahmer. And I couldn't believe what I was bearing witness to. But here you had a group of people. Um... I'm not mentioning any color, but some of y'all can. It was them people that tried to actually shame her because she smoked a little marijuana. And like she said, who the hell are you to tell me how to cope with my pain? But I, I respect and I appreciate the fact that she came out. And she realized that God is still the head of the throne. Um. She said, you know, to hear that information come from a complete stranger, it was definitely triggering. It was nerve shocking because it's just like, how are you telling me shit? And no offense against anybody, but just how dare you? But that's how it goes. And they don't understand why um, a lot of us, you know, take the attitude that we have. But it's important that you stand ten toes down when you go up against somebody that is so narcissistic that they are unwilling to, um, you know, show you any grace for your situation. Not talking about the ones who did, because that, that don't go without saying. What's understood don't need to be said. But for those who gave her a hard time, this baby, because she smoked some pot, what the hell? I'm so proud of her now. I'm, uh, she definitely redeemed herself. And in Budapest, she showed her ass. And all year, she'd been beating everybody that um, beat her, especially those uh, Jamaican girls. She said, you know, uh, if I'm allowed the blessing of continuing to compete, 
Um, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove to y'all who I am. She said, this incident was about marijuana, not steroids. And when my sanction is up, I'm definitely going to be back to compete. Well, of course, she ran a hundred meters and she kicked butt. <laughs> I'm just saying, um, she's had a very successful year, a very, um, just a stellar performance all year round. And I'm glad that you are allowed to manage your emotions without smoking marijuana. Uh, but I, I never thought about anything other than you a race, you a race horse, you a cult, you a sectarian. And you need to be on the field. And I'm glad. So, shout out to Shikari Witz Richardson for the phenomenal year she's had. Phenomenal year. All right. What y'all think about it? Don't, you know, some of y'all might have difference of opinion. Y'all think that she smoked that marijuana and she should be banned. I want to know what you think. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about Shikari Richardson. Okay, see you in the